before they push Brock on TV, um, they sent him around doing the house shows, which you guys, does everybody get the gist of that? The house shows were the shows that were not on television, just for the live audience. And the WWE used to send their, you know, their big prospects down to work the house shows to get some experience before they put them on TV. Well, because of my character, because of my size, I was easy to work with. I got a lot of these green guys to work opening match house shows, you know. And one of the guys I got to work with actually quite a bit was Brock Lesnar. And uh, Brock was a monster. I mean, a physical powerhouse, just insane. And one of his good friends was uh, Kurt Hennin, Mr. Perfect. Uh, they were both from the same area, and they were always ribbing each other and whatnot. And so one day, I forget where we were, probably Texas or something like that. It's Brock and I, first match. Brock versus Spike. Okay, cool. Five minutes before the match, Mr. Perfect pulls me aside and goes, Spike, call the spot. I go, what? He was called drop down, leapfrog, drop kick. He goes, but when Brock drops down, jump on his back and beat the shit out of him. And I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. So I pull Brock aside a couple minutes before the match. I go, Brock, I want you to do the spot. Do a drop down, tackle, drop down, leapfrog. Whatever. He, he goes, looks at me and goes, why would I leapfrog you? Wouldn't I just punch you in the face? And I said, yeah, but show off your athleticism a little bit. And he goes, okay. <laughs> so we get into the match. He's beating the shit out of me. Da -da -da -da. He throws me off. He leapfrogs me. He drops down. The second he drops down, I pounce on his back. Pop, 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 pop. Bitch slapped the shit out of his head. Well, Brock, Brock was a crazy son of a bitch. When I started slapping him in the head, he flipped out and threw me off his back. And I mean, he got up with fire in his eyes like I have never seen and started chasing after me. And here I am going, oh my God, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. So I ran out of the ring. He chased me out of the ring. I ran around. I slid back in. He's followed me back in. I jumped out. He followed me around. I slid in. We literally circled in and out of the ring about four or five times until he finally blew up. And I think he finally figured out that he was starting to get ribbed. You know, there was like, oh, little Spike fucking got me. Ah! So he's finally in the ring. Someone in the front row, just by chance, this wasn't planned, had this giant sign that said Spike or it said Brock is my bitch. So I was on the floor blown up from running. I grabbed his sign, I chased it. Brock is my bitch! Brock is my bitch! Ah! And he's going ballistic. He's in the middle of the ring, just going, you little fucker, I'm gonna fucking kill you, I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna kill you. Sure as shit, I finally, you know, all like the gaga was settled down. I got in the ring, he just grabbed me, ba boom, F5, one, two, three, that was it. He was like, you little fucker, you got me. So I crawled back to the locker room. When I got back through the aisle, there's Kurt Henning, Mr. Perfect, literally on his back. Laughing. Ah, 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 ah. Meanwhile, somebody's music starts for the next match. A second match is going out there. Kurt's on the ground. He's laughing. Ah, ah. One of the agents, I think it was Blackjack Lanza, comes up. Perfect. Perfect. That's your music. Get down in the ring. He's going, no, I can't. I'm laughing too hard.